What's going on, guys? I haven't been able to get a second without the crows. And if I can make it past the crows, somebody with sunglasses shows up in this empty parking lot and sits right next to my car. And they're just twitching and staring at me. But you already know. It's happened enough, I think you guys are starting to realize. Six more subscribers and I can start to live stream and talk to you guys in real time. And try to make sure I'm in a good place so I can answer some questions. Yeah. Basically, we're at the point. We're here. It's less than 24 hours away. If I could go back, I would have focused on myself only. This whole thing was wrapped up to keep me away from being centered in my body to just do what I wanted to do. It was a long game of just keep Casey so distracted and so traumatized and mentally not diseased but confused, diseased. To keep me in the sick prank so that they could farm me for emotional and spiritual Bitcoin that they would siphon out to other people to use when it would take me less than three months to save the world. Every time I get to the first point, which is just, I get the focus. So you see how it's peaceful here? an NPC that as soon as you brought attention to him he starts to tweak and freak out and pause and stop moving and start twitching if I was in a if I was closer to what you would call a state of grace I'm hiding if I was close to what you call a state of grace he would start twitching and then he'd get in the truck and he'd pull the truck right over here and he wouldn't stop moving because something is trying to convince him to get out and hit me. And the, the less you do the skills that I've taught you about fasting, bringing the attention in yourself, centering, focusing, opening your third eye, expanding your consciousness, raising your vibration and raising your awareness of more around you, sitting and paying attention, learning how to stay grounded and centered, and using your imagination to work in the fourth and fifth dimensions the and from outside perspectives to cultivate and then once you have enough cultivated of your emotional and spiritual energy by channeling memories and thinking and adopting new mindsets and growing then you can start to piece it together to make decisions and say affirmations and write and speak the world into existence i am safe i'm protected and i'm blessed See, that doesn't mean, it doesn't hit you, right? He slammed his car door. That guy I just told you was a gang stalker. As soon as I opened my third eye to focus, he slammed his truck as loud as he could. Because I learned the keys. And every time I try to share them, it just gets worse and worse. I might be going to jail for a simple assault. Because the judge comes into the room and he stares at me like this. And he'll slam his hand on the table. And he, anything my nice old lawyer, my nice old female lawyer, public defender says, they just shoot her down. 
and I don't say anything. I just sit there like this. And it's just different them trying to work out spells to ruin my mind because I was blessed. So, I love the idea of sitting on this mountaintop, on this hill with the sun like this, and playing my guitar and finishing my songs, making music. But I also feel like As cool as that is, it's not going to get me rich unless I play my songs and I post them well and I ask for money, which I can see happening. Right now I can see it, but the safer option might be to go to truck driving school and get in a truck and work for a month and a half. And instead of using the spring to cultivate music by sitting out in the woods, I spend the spring um, driving around the Matrix in a truck after signing my life away to an employer. So I can have, if I'm lucky, three grand in a month and I can use that three grand to buy a shitty car and then beg somebody for a boat. And then maybe I can provide a good experience for a girl that I like. Anyone I ask is they're, they haven't done the work, so they're trapped. And the only way they're going to make it is like a sudden realization from a beam of light hitting their brain just well enough that it pierces through and hopefully can stimulate them enough to fill them up with light and make a decision. Which is unfair. It's unfair to people like us that have humility and spend every day trying to make the world better and have these people raping and hurting and killing us just to have us all get the blessing at once. But the girl that I've... I had this weird feeling that I loved this girl for... that I, I had this special connection, this crush on a girl for months when she, she posted a video of her playing guitar and singing and it felt like the music I was trying to make. It felt like she was real in a world of nothing. Just the same five strangers in different bodies attacking me with the same exact mindsets. And she hit me up. But then... Posted a picture of her with a bunch of, like, guys. And the guys had, like, the, e the evil reptile eyes that I see in the police. And these people so I could tell they probably do drugs and they got infiltrated and they she doesn't realize because she's what 20 21 doesn't realize yet what it's taken me like three or four years to realize about people that are blessed and carry certain energies that all my friends were trying to siphon and steal that we don't realize because we're just trying to have a good time yard But if I could, man, I'd have like a Honda Rebel or an Indian Scout and I'd go there and pick her up and we'd go around around through the back roads or around the, it's around my hometown, Wilmington, and we'd go to the lake and I'd have a boat there and we'd get on the boat and go out to the center of the lake and we'd, I'd have a guitar and we'd play guitar, play, play my music and play music through the uh, like a, a nice nice calm 
speaker. And then I'd have, um, I'd have like a campsite set up in the woods on the other end of the lake that you can't get to by a car. And I'd go there and maybe she could help me if, when I smoke weed and I f freak out at what it's like to fully be back in my body without any, in a safe environment. Usually it's me completely alone in the woods and I'm by myself and I have to go back into re I have to go back into society with what I've learned. And it's, it's usually an instant test where it's like, are you going to, are you going to be brave enough to acknowledge that we're not real? Or are you going to conform, are you going to submit back to the lie? And when I'm brave enough to confront the matrix and tell them it's not real. It gets worse. A lot quicker. Violently traumatizing. To keep, to keep me stuck like this. I sang soul music all day today. Cause look at the, look at the light. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Boy, I'm so happy. We have been heaven blessed. I never thought through love we'd be. Making one as lovely as she, but isn't she lovely, made from love? Isn't she pretty, truly the angels bless? Boy, I'm so happy, we have been heaven blessed. I never thought through love we'd be Making one as lovely as she But isn't she lovely Made from love Wow, 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 wow Wow, 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 wow They've had me under spells, and I'm sitting here, and it feels like there's a bunch of people projecting their consciousness down on me to keep me in a cage that when I break away, they gaslight and torture me. And when I find my way out, they don't stop until I'm worse, and they'll often possess my family. And use them to degrade my sense of self-worth. And if I don't, and I believe that I can be free, then they'll call the police and they'll come traumatize me. I showed you for weeks what happens to the people who snitch. I shouldn't be telling y'all anything. But who would I be? I'd probably be me. Yerd. But instead they've turned me into some type of traumatized gaslit puppet. And they won't stop. They won't stop. But occasionally I get an amazing dream where I get woken up a little bit and then they just rub it in my face more. And I didn't do anything close to what I've received. Like karma. In terms of karma, I have not done anything anywhere close to what, I'm ex what I've experienced. 
Um, when I was 13, I would free, I would go, I would stay up all night practicing piano and guitar and working out and watching stand up and watching, um, pick up self-improvement, self-help, self-development, spirituality videos, taking notes and studying, applying it, learning how to, with momentum, make life better so to be more entertaining and to be a better, the best version of myself so I could have the type of respect and love that um other people that were six foot um black hair blue eyes were receiving for free just for existing so occasionally i would free i would snap and i'd freak out and i'd go out and be like am i fat what's wrong with me mom don't fucking lie to me and i one time i slammed a, a shelf like i just took a shelf and whipped it like that and a plate that was on the shelf broke and cut my mom and she freaked out and then a lot of times I didn't want to go to school, so I would just lay there in bed, and my mom would run in circles panicking, and she'd relive all of her traumas about being trapped when she was brutally abused in a in a ranch for mis mischievous children. And I half knew about it. I was 13. I half knew about it, and I half didn't. I knew it was freaking out my mom, and I didn't care. Or I chose not to care. I would just lay there because I didn't want to go to school. I wanted to sit and avoid all the anxiety by watching YouTube. And then I'd work out heavily at night. Um, girls that I gave more than the world to... Um, would abuse me because of my lack of of my what I went through psychologically being in these programs growing up. Even though I learned all this self development stuff when I was able to be a leader, I was still emotionally vulnerable and they took advantage of that. And now I'm now I'm pretty sure that they were half possessed by a demonic force that they weren't willing to assert themselves over to be a blessed and better person. So they were just letting that thing run them. So I'm pretty sure I was fucking that thing for a long time and a lot of different girls. And then eventually they would just figure out the perfect time to sacrifice all my love and innocence to be converted to something else by some type of spiritual force. But I got to fuck the baddest bitches. I got to fuck bitches that uh, y'all never, you will never in your life. The girls you dream about, um, I've been with, and they loved me. They couldn't get enough of me. So it tormented them so much that if I left, they would uh, threaten to kill themselves because they my energy was so good because I spent years practicing this. And the only reason I would share any of this is because I honestly believe that I'm a one percenter. I'm just so kept in a cage. Like this view is perfect. Look at this. But if I do anything at all related in the spiritual realm, something will show up and attack me. To keep me in a state of psychosis. So I can look at this view, but my insides are so fucked up. And then I go into town and I see all the people that they, they've been transmitting my energy to. So I'm hoping that while I'm here, um, somehow I'm manifesting myself taking over the center of vermont because I'm, I'm watching these people like the people that hurt me in the past and abused me and when i first got here the people that lied and schemed and brought me to places to trap me and then made me submit like a dog so that they could laugh over me and steal all my energy and then kick me out in the sub-zero weather by myself that work for churches and community organizations that are just possessed by a force power corrupts and they don't deserve the power and i have the power so they and i was in a vulnerable position so they did it so when I went into town, those puppets put themselves in my area to show me that they had my energy and were acting like me to influence the public, doing what I should be doing. And then a guy named JC shows up in a green car, in a green and black Mustang, just like my tattoo, what I was manifesting. He shows up and parks in the gang stalker spot. So they let me know it's an evil decision. If I should, if I should engage him, it's going to be a bad move. But I'm like, fuck it. You know who I am. I'll go right up and talk to him. And then the first thing he says is, oh, you shouldn't talk to me. It's bad juju. Don't do it, Casey. <laughs> he didn't say Casey, but he said, I wouldn't do it. Because uh, I was like, what's up, man? What? That's a nice car, bro. And he said, it's bad juju. 
and I continued the conversation. Then he went off about how, have you just seen, uh, have you seen the shapeshifters shapeshift right in front of you? And what if they're telling you what to say? And then, uh, just to talk in my ear off, trying to steal all the energy and attention from my spine and then leave left in a, in a expensive muffler just sitting over here like a nice aftermarket muffler just left here and then left and he hasn't been back since so maybe that's the universe saying oh you could sell it if you want to sell somebody else's property he did steal your energy and then he laughed about it but i didn't because i wanted to do the nice thing and when i was focused on being the doing the nice thing he said you're doing everything right and then he went back to ranting like a schizophrenic but it was really just highlighting energies in my subconscious and spirits I wasn't um, allowing into my everyday that were just sitting there. They were jumping into him and then screaming at me through him. About other people that have stolen my, done this process in my life in the past where they stole all my energy and they're walking around pretending to be me with my blessings. And the only, and I didn't, I didn't kill them, I chose to ignore it. And I probably should have killed them. But I said, if they needed my energy that bad, it means that they were inferior to me in the first place. So I'm, no matter what, I'm still their dad, even if they're beating me down into this character, this idea that I'm a schizophrenic homeless loser. When I'm all anyone ever had to do to save their life and become the best version of themselves was hit me up. That's my superpower. Anyone that, and I, I've been doing that my whole life, just one-on-ones with people talking to them about life like a life coach. And then putting them on. And then suddenly they're exponentially better. And they always use it for the wrong reasons. They always be become somebody that wants to attack me specifically. Like they'll level themselves up and then they'll just shit on me. And try to stunt on me. Every single person that I've put on. Becomes a disgusting demonic force. So they don't deserve it. So I don't know how to share. I don't know how to share what they don't deserve. But grace is giving people more than what they deserve. So I do it anyway. In hopes that an RV will just spawn right here. And then uh, and then I'll walk down the street and there will be a nice black Honda Rebel or an Indian motorcycle. That I can just put the headphones on and ride off to the sunset. And then ride to the nearest gas station. And then find a, the, pretty, uh, the pretty Vermont small town girl and have her get on. And then we go riding and see what happens go to go to a waterfall in the at, in the at the at the like noontime where it's like dark and shady waterfall and then have a good time or maybe run into this a specific person just popped up in my head but she's got a boyfriend but i've had a lot of dreams about this one she's born the day after she was born exactly 12 hours after me and she was a hoe in high school but she's probably one of the best looking girls in vermont i swear to god and I've had a lot of dreams that I was a rich millionaire and living in my old childhood home on top of a mountain, a ski chalet, right next to my favorite, like my favorite, one of my favorite places on earth. And she was in there with me and we were dating and she loved me. But we were both Sagittarius's, so we can't really love each other. Like it, it was like an, a mutual agreement that we'd both rather be running across the country, partying, rampaging through the streets, but... We love, but we have this like mutual, it was a good friendship and a good relationship. I could see, I could just tell because I'm a 33 born on the 11th. Look it up. You fucking bitch. I know you didn't make it this far. <laughs> Heather made it this far. <laughs> and I'm really grateful that to have, um, if I didn't have you guys, then I would be probably living completely alone. I pro I wouldn't have phone service. I wouldn't have access to a phone. Maybe I would have gotten up and got a job. I probably would have gotten up and gotten a job. But that would have set me on a place where I couldn't access this. So you giving me that crutch of money every month to buy phone service and McDonald's has allowed me to stay in these higher vibrations even as a traumatized crazy person i was able to access these higher vibrations and in return the energy that i put out influenced the public kai sanat kurt kaz Kaso, c-a-s-e-o-h look them up kendrick curry look them up casey rocket 
And there's more. There's the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm at the highest elevation than all. There's none of them are at a higher elevation than me in the world. True story. I'm at the high of all the Casey's that are fa that are all over your for you page. I'm sitting on top of a mountain watching them all. And that that's a relationship with them in my heart. I think about them. And I think about I think about how close that they are to where I was and how they were separate and I think about what's missing when I see them on social media. I decide if I like what they did or if I didn't like what they did and I can see where I want the direction I want them to go. And then the next time I see them, they're in they've made it. They're in that position. The world stages them to perform at the level that I expect of them and I tell them and I order them to perform at. I hit their brains from an exalted O'Brien, which means hill. I'm on top of a I'm on top of a green mountain, and my name means exalted on top of a hill with a high sense of importance and authority. And I'm watching all these different Casey's from the KCC, and I'm the Kingdom of Creative Champions, and I'm watching all of them. And then when I stop following them, when I decide to unfollow one, like I said, fuck off, Kelly, this pussy from uh, Burlington, this pretentious, prejudiced asshole um, that makes shitty art because he lacks a vision. That changed his name to the KCC after viewing my KCC. And I've seen him once and he called, it was just me and him alone in this the city hall in Burlington, me, him, and a security guard. And I was going in, I followed him in and I was going to go introduce myself, but he had a security block me and then play that, um, I'm better than you role. So I just called him out. I was like, oh, I've seen him before. And I shined the light and then the darkness in him because he's in, in the music industry, the darkness in him went. So I was like, yeah, shine. Ah. And then left with it, carried the whole thing out. And then Lil Uzi Vert showed up 20 minutes later. Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil, Lil, it's Lucifer, bruh. And he was in the room when they performed. North Ab Jax. And then if you go to the mountain range right over here where I'm staring, where I'm staring right now, I can see the mountain range where Casey's Caboose is right next to Jax Games in the best ski resort in Vermont, by the way. And in the KCC, no, in the in Casey's Caboose, so KCC, Casey's Caboose, there's a giant Native American statue. And his face looks like me. But instead of this long hair, he's got feathers. So maybe when the artificial intelligence scrubs this or somebody comes in and this goes into the Akashic Records, at least there's some note that I figured out part of what my purpose is here for. I was supposed to lead the charge. I was supposed to wear the black, the red and black armor with the gold. And I was supposed to gather all my troops that didn't deserve to be around me. But I would teach how to be deserving of being around me. And teach them how to be better people so they could eventually be leaders and have kids. Like the Sopranos and all these rap groups and all these rappers. And I would bring in all these different people. And I would interview all these different people on my podcast when I'm traveling. When, just not my, it wouldn't be a podcast. It would be just like a camera and we'd have microphones and it would be like a live action moment moving podcast and i'd be this lovable character a vlog podcast where we're going through life as i'm asking him different questions to see how he acts in real time that's the best form of an interview by the way that's a no one's done it before that's that's what i'm saying i can come up with things that nobody's done before but when I try to implement them, they attack me. And they're not stopping. I have court in two days that I can't get to. And if I don't go, they're going to issue me a warrant and I'm going to jail for months. So I'm going to call him and tell him, but... I hope life is so rewarding at the end of it that it doesn't matter to me. 
I just don't understand how these people can treat me so horribly and let them be fine. Because of free will. But, it is what it is, man. I'm going to try to find my food and have my one sandwich. And I'm going to sit here. Thanks for watching.